Hi, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a sort of experimental blue eye. I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like yet. You'll have a better idea than me because you'll have seen the thumbnail. I'm going to be using a bunch of products from here, there and everywhere. So it might be hard to replicate, but it's more of an inspiration-y thing, I guess. This look is definitely inspired by Risa Dexter. I've been watching all her periscopes and seeing her put a look together is just really inspiring. Um, she's always using different materials and um, products that aren't necessarily meant for what she uses them for, but I love that. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm inspired by that and I know that I want to play around with blues and turquoises today. If there are any particular looks or colours or textures you'd like me to use in the future, um, just let me know down below and I'll see what I can do. Oh, before I get started, um, the only thing I have on are my eyebrows and um, foundation and primer and I used the number 7 Airbrush Away um, foundation and primer. I've only been using them a few weeks and I really like them so far and I've powdered. Um, quite heavily under my eyes and I'll get started. First off I'm going to apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion with my fingers. With my Wayne Goss 17 brush I'm going to apply the cream shade from the Kat Von D Chrysalis palette. And I'm going to put that from my crease to my brow bone. Next using the Zoeva Luxe Defined Crease I'm going to use this shade from the Chrysalis palette. And for now I definitely want all the shadows I use to be matte. I'm just going to map out a somewhat cat eye shape with this shadow. It's not a shape I do very often at all so I'm always a bit um, hesitant to even try it. I'm going to use the same brush and Makeup Geek Dragonfly and build up that shape. Just gonna blend out everything I've done so far with the Real Techniques angle brush. I've got one eye, um, this eye is more hooded than this one, and I find it quite hard to um, match up this kind of bit by here. But I think it's going okay so far. Next, I'm going in with Makeup Geek Peacock on the same brush for now. Um, this one is not very dense at all, so if I put it right in the crease I can flatten it. I'm not too worried about whether the edges are messy or not because I'm going to be putting splatters everywhere, so it shouldn't be too obvious if I've gone wrong, hopefully. I want to deepen it up even more, so I'm going to use the really deep navy in the chrysalis palette. I'm going to use this really lightly, or attempt to. I guess I want the focus to be the inner and outer portions. I'm going to go back to the Real Techniques brush to blend again. So, it's kind of a mess, but I really like these colours, at least. Now I'll do my lower lash line. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But I am just going to kind of stick to the same colours. I use the Real Techniques brush and that lightest shade from the Chrysalis palette. Now I'm going to use the Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader and go in with Dragonfly. And then the Kat Von D Navy. And the outer edge. Blend it out. I'd already decided to do a contrasting waterline, so maybe I'll do that now. So I just did my waterline off camera, because um, I knew it'd be really fiddly. I used the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in 714. Um, I know they are eye safe, and I saw someone else on Instagram had used them in their waterline, so I thought I would try it. Um, this colour kind of makes me look ill, but I'm going to keep it for now, because I like the way it contrasts. But maybe I'll change it later, when I've seen it all finished. Um, right, I have a selection of different liquid li liners in the blue family, and then I have some 
clean the sky spoolies and so I'm just going to kind of dot them around the place. Let's see what happens. I'm going to start off with the lightest one that I have which is Lime Crime Blue Milk. Hmm, this kind of hurts. <laughs> I hated this mascara, it was the um, Benefit They're Real, and I just hate this one. I might switch up for the other one. Okay, so this is the one from a Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex mascara. And I think I'll just focus on the win. And I am not worried about um, keeping it even or the shape of the dots or anything. Just go for it. Just gonna put some in the middle as well because I kept that space clear. Now I'm using a MAC fluid line and they don't make these anymore. Um, I've had this for way too long so I don't tend to use it as liner anymore but I'm gonna use it today. It's a bright teal. Now one of my favourite liquid liners ever which is also sadly discontinued. It's Urban Decay Siren. I'll concentrate this one a bit more on the inner portion where I've deepened it with shadow. And then last but not least I'll use Urban Decay Sabbath, um, a navy. And again keep it where I had Siren. More or less. Okay, I think I like that. I think it's finished. Um, I'm gonna not do any shimmer so I'm not going to do um, the inner corner. I'll just curl my lashes and mascara and everything. So I applied Clinique High Impact Mascara um, and then some House of Glam Dolls lashes. Um, I'm not sure what they're called because their box isn't labelled but I'll put it in the description box. I am not the best at applying false lashes. But I tried. I'm pretty happy with that. I like that it's not the same on both sides and any blending mistakes have been covered. I'll finish my face now. I'm now going to brush off all the excess powder on my face with this Bessemer brush. It's probably the softest one I own so it's the best for doing this sort of thing. I'm going to contour first and I'm going to use my Shiro Do Your Research contour powder. It's a loose one. And this one is sort of a greeny grey. I'm going to use my Zaliba Luxe Face Brush for that. And I'm just using what's already in the lid. This is a great contour colour for pale people and it looks fairly natural. I apply it quite lightly. I, I'm always worried about applying too much. So I probably don't apply enough but it's alright. And I just do my hairline slightly because I have a five head. I'm going to highlight next and I'm going to first use a cream one from this Sleek palette. It's just called um, Precious Metals Highlighting Palette. I'm going to use the palest shade with my fingers. I know you're not supposed to apply cream once you've already powdered your face but I think as long as you work really fast it's not too bad and then using my Cosette S140 I'm going to apply the powder highlighter um, it's from Topshop and it's called Mother of Pearl and it is really pretty um, if you watched my January favourites this is really similar to their eyeshadow which one is it? Shuffle the Cards so it's pinky gold. It's a duochrome highlighter. Oh yeah. I am not sure if that picks up on camera. If you can tell how pretty it is. And for blush I have Kiko Color Veil Blush in 1. It's really sheer. Oh, and I'm using the Real Techniques cheek brush, multitasker brush. Finish my tea before I do my lipstick. 
I'm going to mix two lipsticks together um, and they are not two that you would usually pair. Um, I'm going to do it off camera because whenever I'm editing my videos I realise that the lipstick portion is really boring. The way I apply my lipstick doesn't really change each time so yeah I'm just going to do that off camera. So for lipstick I mixed um, Melt Space Cake which is a dark blue toned grey and I then applied MAC Pet Me Please from the Alluring Aquatics collection so it's um, a very light frosty pink so it warms up that lipstick and lightens it a bit um, yeah I am gonna leave the waterline like that it's a bit scary but I don't mind I can wash it off so I hope that's been inspiring in some way maybe you've picked up some new techniques or you want to use these colors in the future Definitely check out Risa Dexter, um, I'll link below, but she's on Instagram, YouTube and Periscope. I'm actually really happy with that. Apart from the wonky false lashes, <laughs> I really like the way it looks. I've realised I've done a lot of uh, cool toned dark lips recently, so maybe I'll switch that up next time. I think I'm going to do a top 5 highlighters under £10 video soon. Um, if you'd like any more like that, let me know below. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye.